All right, welcome to today's edition of the Carl Jackson uh, Podcast. Listen, we're going to lighten it up just a little bit today. Uh, Let's have a little fun, all right? So here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about why I believe that uh, Hollywood needs to rehire Johnny Depp and why, what is it, MSNBC? They need to fire Joy Reid. We're talking about that coming up on the Carl Jackson Show Podcast. Rehabilitated and real entertaining. This is the Carl Jackson Podcast. All right, so first, welcome to the Carl Jackson Show Podcast. Hey guys, please remember to subscribe anywhere podcasts are found Apple, Google, Spotify, YouTube, Rumble. You can go to the Carl Jackson Podcast, the Carl Jackson Podcast.com. Subscribe there or Salem Podcast Network.com if you just want, you know, just one avenue to go down, make things a little easier. For you, but I want to talk about a couple of things today. But first, we're going to play a couple of videos for you. First off, I didn't know this. Okay, I've got a really jam-packed schedule, and sometimes you know some of the lighter, fluffy stories. I just don't pay as much attention to you because I feel like the world is on fire and America is on fire. Uh, but this Johnny Depp story, obviously, in Amber Heard, this trial, obviously has been big news. For, for weeks now, and I wanted to opine on it, and then I saw a headline where I was like, okay, I can't help but to opine on it, uh, so I, we're going to share some video where apparently Amber Heard, and I, from from what Gabe told me, I'm late to the party, you know, sorry Gabe, I'm watching the world burn down, so I, I couldn't keep up with this stuff, <laughs> keep up with this stuff, but apparently Amber Heard took a dump on Johnny Depp's bed, gross, uh, and also I want to talk about MSNBC uh, Joy Reid. So we're going to show you some video of her doing her typical racist, the typical racist Joy Reid. So enjoy these videos back to back. And when we come back, I'm going to start with, uh, I'll start with Joy Reid and then we'll we'll talk about uh, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Uh, take a look at these videos. How to do fascism for fun and profit. If you are Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, you start out by making it illegal for schools to make white children feel discomfort while being taught about our nation's history of racial discrimination and violence. The bottom line is, as you said, if they want, they don't want to just be in the club. They're, they, they are on the, you know, they've been described as being on the outside of the culture looking in through the glass. But they don't just want to come in. They want to come in and be able to punch people in the face and walk around and laugh about it and not have anyone be able to stop them. The, the thing is, the, the enjoyment they get out of being in this town square is being able to harass people, being able to attack people. Elon Musk, I guess he, you know, he misses the old South Africa in the 80s. He wants, he wants I had gone to Mr. Bet and said, uh, she's, in Coache- she's at Coachella, I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were uh, uh, precious to me, you know, f- children things, things from friends, Brando, Hunter, Thompson, whatever, things that were important to me. And he said, I don't think now's a good time to go. And I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of... Uh, Objection, Your Honor. That's what you're saying. It, it's a photograph, Your Honor as being relayed to him by Mr. Bett. He, he says he looked at it on his, fo- on his phone. I'll overrule the objection as the photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed, um, was human fecal matter. Um, so I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. I, I, 
it was so outside, it was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. Um, and um, so I did not go down there that day. All right, so there you have it. Typical Joy Reid and the Amber Heard stuff is just, I'm sorry, it's just gross. Uh, but <laughs> I'll, I'll get into Amber Heard in just a sec. But let's start with Joy Reid. Listen, Joy Reid had, had tipped Fox News, all right? Uh, so M, this is the headline. MSNBC's Joy Reid has the lowest rated month ever. She sheds 51% of her debut audience from 2020. Now, uh, Joy Reid rode to prominence during the riots, uh, the lockdown, and then the riots of 2020, and it's been downhill from there. Uh, they won't fire her. Greg Gutfeld got it right the other night on Fox News. They won't fire her because she's black, and they're they're scared of being called racist, but the lady needs to go. Uh, she isn't just bad at her job. Uh, she's bad for America, and I mean that in all sincerity. I'm not saying that to be hyperbolic. The lady needs to go. I really think she's poison to the United States of America. If we're ever going to be united the united states of america again uh joy reed needs to be off of msnbc this lady should not have a prime time show where all she does is spew racism okay blacks can't be racist give me a break of course blacks can be racist um it isn't people that have the moral authority to determine who's racist and who's not it is god that judges the heart so all of you pretending uh that you somehow are morally superior because you're black or because you have darker skin and you can't be racist you're fooling yourselves one day you're gonna die and you're gonna stand before god and you're gonna learn the truth so had to Fox News, MSNBC host Joy Reid's readout finished April with the smallest monthly audience in the far left's uh, program's nearly two-year history. Readout averaged 1.1 million viewers during the news uh, news heavy month. I'm surprised she got that many. Those numbers shocked me. That, but that's a 31% decline from April of last year. Thank God. Uh, she also shed 11% of viewers who tuned in last month and a staggering 51% compared to the show's debut uh, month of July of 2020. Okay, so the show debuted in the month of July of 2020. Uh, so I got it wrong. It wasn't, I was thinking it was March 2020. So that puts her right smack in the middle of the um, of the riots. And obviously they thought they would get huge ratings. And I guess initially they did do pretty well with her during the Democratic riots that broke out all across uh, or in several blue cities across the United States. So Read Out has also lost 57% of her total audience among the advertiser coveted demographic um of adults aged 25 to 54 since the program launched in July, finishing April with a dismal demo average of only 124,000 viewers. I don't know what MSNBC expected. I, I guess they expected two years of rioting. I won't, uh, you know, I won't be doubted. I, I wouldn't doubt if the left tries to riot, riot again once they lose the House and then the presidency in 2024. Uh, but uh, uh, w what were they thinking? I mean, this lady is a complete and utter disaster. Not only is she IQ uh, deficient, I, I, I will say to be kind, but the lady is just mean spirited. She's nasty. She doesn't deliver news and she's a flat out racist. It, it, it's pretty simple. She's a flat out racist. All right. So read out viewership during April. April was MSNBC's least watch month uh, during the weeknight 7 p.m. hour among the critical demo since July 2015. Uh, during April, every single Fox News program uh, beat her, including Fox and Friends First, which airs from 4 to 6 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Um, that outdrew uh, the readout. Uh, Reads uh, may not have attracted many viewers during the month of April, the column says, but she certainly made headlines with a series of outlandish comments like she's prone to do, uh, like you saw earlier in the video. So, this week, she trashed Elon Musk for basically being uh, being a, 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 a conservative and a racist. And she mocked uh, conservatives as outsiders to the cult, outsiders to the culture. 
This lady is a nut. Uh, who were going? She said they were out conservatives or outsiders to the culture, quote unquote. Who were going to miss being able to bully smart liberals leaving Twitter? Hmm. Okay, smart liberals leaving leaving Twitter. Smart liberals are apparently leaving your show, Joy Reid. Reid also declared that conservatives on Twitter want to be able to quote punch people in the face uh, and then laughed about it. This lady stokes violence too. She she really does. She's despicable. Why they have her on, um, I don't know. Except that she's a black woman and they're playing the identity politics game. Uh, but I'm glad that MSNBC is losing viewers. I'm glad that they're losing money to put hateful rhetoric on television like this. They deserve it. Uh, this week, Reed, Reed caused a stir of claim uh, uh, a stir for claiming black children associated with retired NFL player Jack Brewer's uh, Jack Brewer's foundation were subjected to child abuse when pictured with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis uh, during the signing of a ban on critical race theory curriculum what sick did so she's an attack dog she can be an attack dog for the left because she's black so she can say outlandish things she can say rude and despicable things she can be racist against her own people uh, and and that's who she is listen listen i can't stand joy reed but i can't stand joy reed because she's bad at her job and she is a racist it's as simple as that. She should not have a primetime show. Uh, MSNBC, hopefully, are are realizing this as well, but they've gone woke completely, so uh, they're going to be scared to fire her. Brewer told uh, uh, Tucker Carlson tonight, Tuesday, the youth pictured, and, and Brewer is a former uh, NFL player, for those of you that may not know. But uh, uh, So he told Tucker Carlson tonight on Tuesday that the youth pictured with the governor are children of God who do not deserve to be publicly attacked on national tele- television by Reed. He called for Reed to either apologize or potentially face a defamation suit. I say sue her, sue MSNBC. Um, and uh, it, it's despicable. These are innocent children, Joy Reed. They don't deserve to be the object of your scorn. Children that are trying to make a better life for themselves. Earlier this month, Reed also suggested ending mass mandates was letting a-holes win. And she also, well, it's it's so funny because there are a lot of a-holes on your side of the aisle, Joy Reid, that are fed up with masks as well. Uh, because people know that it's a joke. They know that all the left were using the mask for was continue to uh, 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 continue to try to control people. We all know that the masks don't work. Apparently, you don't. Uh, and uh, she also posted a video on her TikTok account scolding people who continue to ask her to define what a woman is. She can't go there, obviously. On April 5th, she argued that Republicans are now appealing to a pro-rape and pro-child marriage base, tweeting out a thread condemning the Republican Party and asserting they are attempting to reach the most um, the most crazy fears of white Christian parents. As their political strategist, as their political strategy, man, so white, you can't be white, can't be Christian, or you're a bad person, according to Joy Reid. Thank God uh, that uh, that people that are Christians, regardless of what their skin color is, uh, they uh, they live for Jesus and not for Joy, not for Joy Reid, uh, anyway, I should say. So Reid also claimed Republicans are also, quote, forcing women to be childbirthing slaves of the state and are, quote, banning the teaching of slavery. No, critical race theory isn't banning the teaching of slavery. Listen, I believe Americans should know about their history, all facets of American history, the good, the bad, uh, the ugly. Uh, let's not pretend that we have not recovered from slavery. For for God's sake, Joy Reid, uh, you're on a nationally televised program, despite the fact that you have lost 50, over 50% of your viewers and you have... Um, uh, you have white people in the upper echelons of MSNBC that don't want to fire you. Blacks have come a long way, Joy Reid. Uh, it, it's insane. Uh, this is this is why she's losing ratings. I, I, I'll get to more of my takeaways at the end. I just want to um, I, I just want to make sure that we all know how bad Joy Reid is, how bad of a person, and how bad of a broadcaster she is. In March, the MSNBC host claimed there was a quote radical disparity uh, disparity in how Western media was portraying suffering Ukrainians as more more, quote, human compared to the browner and blacker counterparts embroiled in other conflicts across the globe. What's well, funny, Joy Reid, uh, because the vast majority of the media is controlled by the left. Uh, so if you have an issue with that, perhaps you should call out your own 
networks. Perhaps you should call out your own side of the aisle. Perhaps you should call out CNN, so on, etc. Reid has repeatedly referred to Texas's abortion laws and pro-life supports as the American Taliban, comparing them to the dystopian book and TV series The Handmaid's Tale. In addition, the MSNBC host suggested school children are taught a kind of Confederate race theory due to Republican opposition to critical race theory curriculum. This lady is a jerk. She is mean. She is dumb. And all she can do is throw flames. That's all she can do. Now, because of the left, well, the black population should be approximately 25%. What are we, 12, 13%? Uh, and thanks to ignoramuses like Joy Reid, that's going to remain because this ignoramus is encouraging black people and people, women in general, to get abortions. She doesn't even realize what's going on. Or, or it's just that she's collecting a fat paycheck and so she doesn't care about the black community. In 2018, she was at the center of one of the most bizarre media scandals, according to Fox. Um, of the past decade claiming that resurfaced homophobic comments on her uh, old Florida blog, uh, the Reed Report, were not written by her. Instead, um, instead, uh, they were, uh, she blamed hackers and claimed to enlist the FBI to investigate her claim. And then the host eventually admitted it was unlikely she was hacked and says she didn't recall making the offensive remarks for which she apologized anyway. All right. So the lady is a joke. She's a liar. Uh, she's mean. She's, she's nasty. And, um, she's collecting a payday, but here's the bottom line. Listen, uh, people are, I think people even on the left, it, People are sick and tired uh, of, of people that don't deliver real news. They're bypassing the mainstream media. They're watching podcasts like mine, listening to radio, uh, you know, going to other places where they can get their news. Uh, but they're not listening. They don't want to listen to the uh, Joy Reads of the world, except the most ardent leftists that still buy into this nonsense that America is systemically racist. Um and, 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 and frankly, the only reason she has the job that she has is because she's a black woman. She's not talented. Let's be real. She's not talented. Um, she doesn't deliver news. She's predictable. We know what she's going to say every night, virtually. She's going to figure out a way to call Republicans racist. Okay, um, here's the story. What's Joy Reid's take? They're racist. Okay, got it. You, you, that that gets old pretty quick, right? So black racism, black racism fatigue sets in pretty quickly and i think people realize she's a racist you know the, the the more you 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 can't keep calling other people racist when all you do is talk about race and highlight race that makes you the racist not to mention uh, uh, americans are really hurting right now whether it's uh, you know it, it's jobs the economy i mean uh, <laughs> Right now, we're in a an economic downturn. 1.4% of our GDP just, adios, gone. If we get a second quarter of this, that means we're in a, in a recession officially. So people are struggling to pay their bills. People are struggling to put food on the table. People are struggling to put gas in their vehicles. And Joy Reid is still talking about how racist America is. And I think people are uh, over it. All right, so now let's move on. Let's go to Amber Heard and... Johnny Depp like guys are I I really believe I really believe excuse me I got to take a swig I really believe this trial has revived Johnny Depp's career now I haven't even been watching the thing I've watched I, I'll say this maybe in total I've probably seen 20 30 minutes of it in passing read some headlines but this headline stuck out to me only to find out that i'm a little late to the party hat tip breitbart amber heard left defecation in johnny depp's bed um <laughs> the bodyguard testifies this is sick and this is gross but you know what's funny so when i was younger um one of the things you know you're a guy you want a mac you want attractive women uh, so on etc one thing that i would think when i was younger if i thought a girl was too pretty to mac to I would think in my head, okay, she takes a crap too. I know that sounds disgusting. I'm sorry. But that helped me to build the confidence that you could talk to any, talk to anybody, you know? Uh, and, and, and so that was something that played out in my little immature crazy head at the time. So that brought back memories. And uh, Amber Heard, ugh, um, she 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 confirmed <laughs> what I believed. <laughs> what I believed. So 
Um, Aquaman star Amber Amber Heard left defecation in Johnny Depp's bed after an argument. Uh, Moose she referred to as a horrible practical joke gone wrong. Uh, the uh, the actor's bodyguard testified under oath on Thursday at the Depp Heard uh, defamation trial. Depp's bodyguard Starling Jenkins told the court on Thursday that he and Heard had a conversation pertaining pertaining to uh, the surprise that she left in the boss's bed prior to leaving the apartment while he was driving the actress to Coachella on uh, one day in uh, in 2016. When asked to clarify why what he meant by the surprise, <laughs> Jenkins specified the defecation all right (laughs) or the defecation quote unquote Depp's bodyguard went on to say that Heard had referred to the defecation as a quote horrible practical joke gone wrong Jenkins testimony corroborates uh, Depp's claim in the courtroom last week that Heard or one of her friends had defecated in their bed after an argument uh, in which he said he was leaving her during his testimony Jenkins also said that Heard got sick uh, quote unquote on magic mushrooms and red wine while attending Coachella uh, she was eating I'm quoting the bodyguard she was eating the magic mushrooms and drinking red wine on an empty stomach Jenkins also testified that before leaving for Coachella heard through Depp's belongings including his phone off the balcony onto the street so the bodyguard explained he had to track down Depp's phone using the find my iPhone app and he found the actor's phone on Skid Row where you know where the homeless people are if you're not sure what Skid Row is in the possession of a homeless dude he paid the dude 420 bucks chicken tacos chips apples and Fiji water <laughs> to get Johnny Depp's phone back the guy could have got much more all right Depp, Depp who is suing her for defamation also claimed the actress threw bottles of vodka at him during an argument um, I didn't know this I did hear this last week which resulted in his middle finger being severed uh, by broken glass, Depp also claims Heard put a cigarette out on his face. That's insane. On Monday, a shocking audio uh, recording uh, played in the courtroom revealed Heard telling Johnny Depp to, quote, tell the world uh, he's a male victim uh, of domestic violence and see how many people believe, quote unquote, him. See what the jury and judge thinks, quote unquote. Heard says in the audio recording, Uh, Tell the world, and I'm quoting, uh, Johnny, tell them, Johnny Depp, I, a man, I'm a victim, too, of domestic violence, and see how many people believe or side with you, uh, close quote. Uh, Depp's libel suit claims that a 2008 piece Heard wrote uh, in, in the Washington Post in which she referred to herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. She should have said domestic violence because it's pretty obvious, at least according to this testimony, that this chick was abusive, um, uh, has harmed his movie career. So uh, Johnny Depp, uh, who is the Pirates of Caribbean star, Caribbean star, however you want to say it, uh, has denied her allegations of abuse and is seeking $50 million in the, defama- in the defamation suit uh, to compensate for the damage done to his career. Heard is counter suing for $100 million. Listen, uh, this is crazy. This is insane. I hope this is a wash, but I hope that Johnny Depp gets his career uh, back and I hope that both of them get help for their addiction problems. And obviously this chick is cray cray too, but they're in in Hollywood so they're both a little cray cray but let, let me let me be real listen I know that Johnny Depp is a big time lib I, I I get it I think the guy implied at one point um you know assassinating he'd like to see someone assassinate Trump if I recall correctly get it got it all right uh but I I, I I've watched the movies, the series, The Pirates of the Caribbean. I can't imagine anyone else playing that role. Uh, To me, Johnny Depp is Jack Sparrow. Uh, Right here locally at Disney World, they've gotten rid of, if you go on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, they've gotten rid of the prostitutes that were on there. Uh, Disney gone woke and trying to be politically correct and all this kind of nonsense. Just stop. All right, let's, let's... Johnny Depp did an amazing job with that series. Let's just keep it real. Give the guy his money back. Give the guy his career back. Pray that he gets help for his addiction. The same is true for Amber Heard. I I, I wish the best, best for both of them. Obviously, they need to be apart. Uh, she's crazy. She needs to get help for her uh, violence and anger management. Obviously, he's an addict himself. Uh, so they both need help and they need our prayers. But please, the the... I'll close by saying this. We need to, America will be a better place 
if we fire Joy Reid or if MSNBC fires Joy Reid and if they hire or rehire uh, Johnny Depp. I'd love to be able to go to a movie and enjoy a movie and enjoy the art, enjoy the actor's work without worrying about all of this woke nonsense. So if you want to get to a place where America is united and begins to heal, can we please go to the movies again and just enjoy them without messages? Can we please turn on the evening news without being told that we're racist every single night? That's the solution. That'll help get us back on the right track. All right, guys, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my podcast, The Carl Jackson Podcast, The Carl Jackson Podcast.com. Don't forget the the in front of it. Also, Salem Podcast Network.com is a good place to find it if you're having a hard time there. Carl Jackson Show.com. Everything news stories podcasts are loaded up there. Until next time, guys. Don't grow weary doing good. I hope you have a great and blessed weekend and I'll see you I'll see you on Monday. Take care.